everyone. Welcome back for more Exos Years content. In today's video, we're going to talk about Coriver's chance increase for Tantalus Banner. I'll try to review his kit and his recent changes that were applied to his kit. And also, I'll give you my final thoughts. But before that, if you want to see more Exos Years content, please hit the subscribe button down below. So here we are at uh, Tantalus Coriver's chance increase for his banner. So the banner will be dropping on September 21st on a Monday after the temporary maintenance. It will last for a week up to the next Monday. So we'll try to see his skills. So Tantalo has been, in my experience, a good hero, especially in terms of um, uh, being a defender. Um, I got him already I think a couple of weeks ago or a month ago if I can remember in one of the banners that I pulled him from so he's off banner for me so in his original kit I think he's really good but with the recent developments and the skill changes that they applied uh, which includes overpower and sworn friend um, I think he would be more viable now, especially for PvP. Um, I'm not sure if you if he can really replace Ulum for now, but um, he can be very important in your team now that he's been buffed already. So we'll take at his take a look at his original um, skills. So for his passive, so he has block two. So, afflicts all enemies with provoke 10 turns if an ally takes damage and its health drops to 30% or less. Grants heal over time to, to self, then heals 20% of attack every turn for 5 turns. So again, it's usually standard. So gain 1 mana if own health is 20% or less when triggered. He also has a Dragonite Blessing which increases his damage dealt to the, to, to the dragon. So he's actually viable again in use for the dragon because of his damage over time so, uh, so, so that he could uh, break uh, multiple garden stones and with his fc he gets heart strike so he gets heart strike levels one up to three so again for heart strike so the first one is decreases 20 attack speed of the target in the next level if you hit the, um, the same opponent so it's going to be def debuff decrease of a 1000 defense on the target and the last one is heart strike level 3 so deals 200 percent damage to all em enemies upon activation afflicts target with blind overtime effect so afflicts 2000 damage to target every turn so heart strike is usually a default for the banga family but we're going to talk more today on his additional skills which is overpower so overtime effect so decreases critical damage of target by 300 percent um i'm not sure if this triggers when you already hit heart strike We'll have to figure this out first, um, but this is a very big decrease in terms of critical damage. It basically nullifies the attack of your enemies or an enemy that you that uh, has been afflicted by this. Um, this can make him more tankier. He's not really that tanky now, um, but this will give him more of a, a boost in his tankiness. And uh, the next or the last improvement to his kit is Sworn Friend. So grants immunity one time when an ally takes critical hit damage. So he gives immunity to his team, to himself as well, for taking a critical hit damage only one time. So this boosts his overall, his overall, uh, what do you call this? His overall effectiveness in terms of team support in terms of survivability of his team so this gives him a very big uh, boost uh, versus his previous kit so the rest of his skills it's usually still the same um, so for ground flip this is i think his s1 so required minus four so the effect is deals 127 percent damage to all enemies over time, 
poisons target dealing 44% damage every turn for 3 turns or increases attack of all allies by 13% and increases block of all allies by 42% so again this is a very good utility spell which provides offense and defense and um, the good thing about this is in terms of the dragon in terms of for example chapter 11 he if you built if you if you already gave him elemental elemental um, enhancement he can break multiple guardian stones so with damage over time um, he can constantly do it and very quickly so the next one his s2 is body check so required manage three so it's basically the same as your ground flip but this targets a single enemy so it deals 262 percent damage to one enemy so again over time effect uh, he inflicts poison to the enemy and decreases the attack of of the target enemy by 35 percent so this only decreases attack no increase in defense so as far as i think um his his improvements i think he's, he's a worth He's worth it um, to, you know, bring in your main team, but it really would really depend on how he plays out in testing his survivability. If um, it's really a big bump, or if it doesn't, um, it doesn't really make a good improvement. But I'm sure with his uh, with with his skill additions, he would be a good character to have right now. So anyway, so for Tantalo, so he is a gold rated fate core. So his probability has been increased to 0.5%. And you can earn one recruit mileage for recruiting heroes 11 times. So for every 11 times recruit, you get one recruit mileage. So for you to pity him, you would require 28 core mileages as are required for guaranteed chance to obtain dignified tantalo so again if you want to pity him it would re really require you to go up to 28 so as far as his exclusive weapon so he has his exclusive weapon it's called justice buffalo so i think this weapon looks, looks cool so if you can see his picture this is a bit bigger or similar a size as him so again, it's yeah, the weapon bonuses here. It, it gives uh, I think three thousand uh, more combat damage than the regular weapons, and more or less the usual stats. So you can obtain an exclusive weapon at a certain rate. So again, the 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 chance to obtain this is zero point five percent, and it also needs twenty eight core mileages for you to obtain his weapon. So from my end, I am not really recommending um, you pulling for the for his weapon because, in my experience, usually you get to pull um, exclusive weapons during um, uh, in the door creation once you once you get weapons there. Sometimes it gives you special weapons. So my overall thoughts on Antalo, um, well, he is he is a solid 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 hero solid enough that you can take him in chapter 11 you can take him in in uh, your challenges you can take him the dragon you also take him uh, in pvp so if you have the zest to summon for him and if you have a really extra zest i think it's good that you summon for him he's he's kind of worth it he is a good defender for your tag teams if you can't use him in in your main team you can use it in in your tag teams but if you really have the zest right now the extra zest i suggest you summon for him um we're currently look waiting for um the new batch of fate course to be released um what we call synergy the k-pop synergy so i i think um after this one we'll be getting uh what else we'll be getting summer festa i think selection banner as well and after that i think we'll we'll be getting the k-pop synergy 
So if you have the extra zest for him, pull for him. Um, he's a good utility defender, um, and with this this improvement to his kit, it improves his survivability. So anyway, guys, um, it's a Sunday, and um, I wish you all guys to have a very productive Sunday. This concludes my video, and let me what you know. Let me what you think, guys. On Tantalo, is he worth your pulls, or would you would skip on him and move to to the next banner and wait for probably K-pop synergy? So you all stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. More than out.